Hi, everyone. Um, you know, I'm starting to get used to speaking in front of congregations, so I, I think that's a good sign. Uh, I think the next step would be, you know, sitting in Father Mark's chair, but that's years away. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I grew up Catholic, but I was, I was that little kid in the pews that wasn't really listening or taking, it too seri taking the Mass too seriously. You know, Sunday Mass was that one hour a week that interrupted my Sunday morning cartoons. That's the way I saw it. And, you know, I, I did my sacraments, but I only did it because, well, the rest of my classmates were doing it. So I, I didn't take it too seriously. And fast forward to my adult life, I hadn't been going to church for a while, but I felt like something was missing in my life, right? There's gotta be more than, you know, working that nine to five job. And so I, I reached out to a priest friend of mine that I had lost touch with over the years. And after, after the mass, he comes up to me, and gives me a great big hug and he says, how are you doing? How, how are things going? And we're catching up, and he says, so are, you know, are you, are you single? Are you, are, are you dating anyone? I said, no, I'm, I'm single. So the seminary, I thought, oh, gosh. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. Listen, just, they have a thing called a come and see weekend uh, where you can go to the seminary, which is where guys study to be a priest. Um, and if you like it, great. If not, you know, at least you checked it out, and maybe you learned something from it. I said, you know what, that's fair. What do I have to lose? So I went on the come and see weekend. And there was testimonies by the seminarians and, and priests. Um, but I didn't like it. That, that part was good. But, you know, I, I was in there in, in the rooms before the renovations. I was this little tiny bed and these white walls. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm in prison. I can't stay here. There's no way. Uh, so I, I came back uh, to Windsor from the seminaries. Had it in my head, nope, not for me. And I didn't tell anyone that I did a come and see weekend. I, I kept that to myself. But people were coming up to me and they said, hey, like, have you ever thought of being a priest, going to the seminary? I said, no, why? I don't know, you got this, you got this thing, this thing about you. A thing, I don't know. But with time, more and more people kept coming up to me saying the exact same thing. Hey, have you ever thought of being a priest? No, why? Ah, you got, this, you got this thing. I didn't know what the thing was. I hated the thing. I, the thing bothered me. I didn't want to hear about it. And I ended up joining a, a discernment group. And it, that's a, a group of guys who are trying to figure out whether they're called to, to go to the seminary or not. And I didn't take that too seriously either. I just wanted to learn a bit more and just hang out with the guys, you know. And uh, the priest that was running it, at one point he, he comes up to me with a stack of papers and he says, Francisco, I, I think you're ready. For what? To, to go to the seminary. I was like, seminary? No, 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 that's, that's not for me. So I stopped going to that discernment group. Uh, and, you know, uh, I, I ended up getting a job in, in Sarnia, a uh, chemistry job, that's what I studied. And so I moved to Sarnia, uh, I had my own apartment, I was dating, and a friend calls me up. And he says, hey, what are you doing this weekend? I said, oh, I'm, I'm free, why? He says, okay, uh, you know, he was running a, a youth retreat and I had helped him in the past with youth retreats and summer camps and all that kind of stuff. And he says, listen, uh, an adult leader just dropped out. I need someone, it's last minute. I need someone who knows the retreat. Can you help me out? I said, yeah, sure. So I came down for the weekend. And uh, sure enough, the teenagers at one point were saying, hey, have you ever thought about being a priest? No. Why? Oh, because there's a thing? Yeah, yeah, you got this thing. I was, oh, so I go back to Sarnia, and then COVID happens. And if you guys remember, there was the, the stay-at-home order, so I, could, I couldn't go anywhere. I was stuck in my apartment. Uh, so how I spent that Easter was over the phone with my mom. I didn't have cable or Wi-Fi at the time. And so she puts the phone next to the, next to the TV and she's watching Pope Francis uh, do the Easter Mass. And he's talking about the apostles and priesthood and he's painting it beautifully. And I thought, okay, let me, let me try something. I remembered in, in the discernment group, we were reading this book. The discernment group wasn't useless, see? Um, but we were reading this book and in the book it says, if you're trying to figure out where God might be calling you, 
picture your life going one way. So picture your life as a married man with the, the kids, the little dog in the house, and really relish in that. So I did that. Next, picture your life going a different way. So as a priest. And if I'm being honest, I would never do that. I was fine with door number one. I didn't want to know what was behind door number two because I was afraid of what I might find out. But this time I decided I'd take the plunge. And so I pictured myself as a priest celebrating mass, the different sacraments, uh, being with the community. And I, and I relished in that. And I felt this overwhelming joy. So I thought maybe there's something there. So I called up the vocations director who's in charge of letting guys into the seminary and I told him the entire story. And he says, well, Francisco, call me back in a month and let's see if you're still feeling that way, if you, if you're still, feel, if you still feel called. I said, okay. So I call him back in a month. He says, all right, Francisco, wh what are you thinking? What are you feeling? What's going on? I said, well, uh, uh, I broke up with my girlfriend. He said, you, you broke up with your girlfriend? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna send those papers right away. You fill them out as soon as you can. I said, okay. <laughs> so I fill out the papers and I, I broke the lease on my apartment. I quit my job. I didn't even know if I had gotten accepted, but I, I was all in. I had to know at this point. And uh, thanks be to God, I, I got accepted. Uh, I just finished my third year, uh, four more to go. But um, I gotta let you guys know, just because you enter the seminary, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know, you make it all the way and, and, and you become a priest. I know guys who have gone all the way and that's great, they're so joyful. I also know guys who have discerned out and they're married or in the process of getting married. And that's great too, because that's the whole point of the vocation. It's to draw closer to God so that you can find out where he's calling you so that you can glorify him by the way that you live your life because we were all made with a purpose in mind. So, thank you.